Hey guys, welcome back to my channel once again. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am pregnant with a little boy and little girl. We're in week 25, which is just great. Every day, every week is fantastic. Next week, we'll have an update on how they're growing, which I'm super anxious to give you that report and get that report for myself, of course. If you've been following along, then you know that my babies are really little, so we are praying that they are not in the one percentile. There's my other little baby. <laughs> Anyways, today I want to show you some of my favorite boy and girl shops online to buy baby clothes. I'm gonna keep this moving and keep it quick because you don't need me to talk through websites for 15 minutes. So since we're talking about being online, I wanna show you one website really quick called the Sun Kiss Collective. They make this gorgeous jewelry. Um, all the pieces are handmade out of Hawaii. They're so beautiful and dainty. See here is this beautiful little dainty gold chain that I'm obsessed with with this pearl necklace and then these pearl earrings. I love literally everything that they have so go on their website support and use code Heather 10 for 10% off your order which we love a good sale okay without further ado let's jump in to my favorite baby clothing shops. Okay, so first and foremost is Zara. And if you're in the mommy world, baby clothing world, you probably know that Zara has really cute clothes for kids. Whoa, my hair is voluminous when I do that. Wow, this is so cute. This is their new collection. I really need to get some of this stuff. So I love Zara because their prices are pretty affordable, I think, for the quality that you get and for how cute it is. My baby style is neutrals. Shocking, I know. I mean, when they're newborn, I just am gonna have them in like pajamas, like little sleepers, because that's all they do is sleep. And I'm really trying to go hard on the neutrals as much as I can for all the basics because I'm having a boy and a girl. So instead of buying a full boy wardrobe and a full girl wardrobe, I'd love to just have pieces that both of them could wear. I could just slap a bow on a little girl's head, a little hat on a little boy and call it good and the next day they can swap. It's because that is going to make our lives easier and save money. You can also get some really awesome stuff on sale from Zara. Okay, the next shop is H&M. This one feels similar-ish to Zara. They have even more like basics, like onesies and pants and like basic clothing items in neutral colors. I feel like they're a bit more boy and girl, not as much, you know, sw swap. Lots of like cute knits, lots of organics. Once we get a little bit closer, I'll probably turn to H&M to pick up a few like basic packs of things that we are still in need of. Yo. Okay, the last like big store I wanna touch on is Old Navy and specifically just for their zipper pajamas. They have great little footed PJs with the fold over mitts. They have a ton of different patterns. Like look at this one. Little ferns. But look at that, $8. Like I feel like that is a great price point. I definitely don't want to be spending a ton of money on baby clothes. There might be here and there a couple things that cost more that are worth it for me, but I have to buy boy and girl clothes. And so for some reason, I just get super overwhelmed when I'll find something really cute online from a little shop. And then I'm like, well, I have to get two of them. And then all of a sudden this cute little like 30 or $40 baby outfit becomes 60 and 80 plus tax and ship. It's like a hundred bucks. I'm like, I can't. I can't bring myself to do that. So I'm loving the $8 price point from Old Navy and their pajamas. Okay, so now I want to show you some of the smaller baby shops that I'm loving. <laughs> Majority of these shops I have found through Instagram ads. Okay, so Caden Lane has super cute pajamas. Like again, the little footed zipper ones, they are more expensive. They're like $36 each. So this is one of those examples where like, if there was a pattern that I'm like, I have to have that piece in particular, then we can talk about a $40 baby pajama price point. I love Caden Lane stuff, but we're not going to be shopping there for all of our PJs. Okay, so the next shop is Jamie K. This is one, again, all over Instagram I've seen. I love the baby style of like little leggings with like a knit chunky sweater and like a little beanie like in the fall. And Jamie K has all the knits. Okay, like look at this little knitwear outfit. Are you kidding me? Like that is the vibe. Again, it just brings me back to Zara because Zara has cute knits and their knits are like 
$20 and this is $40 and this is such a cute sweater. I honestly haven't spent a ton of time actually perusing the website. I've just saved a whole bunch of Instagram pictures. Okay, next up is Lulu & Co. I absolutely love this company. I bought a whole bunch of baby girl bows from them when we found out we were having a girl and they have the cutest little outfits. Again though, these outfits are like $40, $45 each. These little top and bottom sets, they are so soft. Just so cute on little babies. Like, are you kidding me? Look at that. And they have a ton of different patterns. I mean, it just goes on and on and on, like every color, every pattern you could want. They have one like fabric and you can get anything in that fabric, hats, bows, blankets, booties, mittens, outfits. Okay, the next one is Spearmint Love. They have a ton of cute stuff on Instagram, but it's really hard to navigate their website because it's just like random. I mean, I really only go on here when there's something specific that I've seen on Instagram and I'm looking for it. But for example, kind of like Lulu & Co, a lot of times with their collections that they sell on here, it'll be one pattern, like this little Frenchie pattern, and then they have it in a bunch of different styles, like a little ruffle, snap, you know, footy outfit, or you can get it in a zip up or a regular footy or a blanket or a dress. That's nice, especially since we're having a boy and a girl, but I do want them to be matching. Oh, I should address that too, that I'm not gonna have them wearing like the exact same outfits because it's a boy and a girl, but I would like them to look intentional. I feel like it's honestly just gonna make it easier if I have it already in mind, like these outfits go together and have them actually look cohesive together. Someone on here is a twin mom and is laughing their head off that I'm saying that and it's like, honey, you have no idea. But my plan right now is to try my best to just keep them looking similar. Okay, so the next one is Amazon. And hear me out, Amazon has so many baby clothes and I've been testing a few of them out to check quality. I posted this on my Instagram and you guys freaked out. Everyone wanted the link to this. This is like a dupe, I think, because I've seen Instagram ads for it and it was more expensive than this and then I found it on Amazon. So I got it in black gray and I got it in khaki. I thought it was fine quality. I mean there's other things I've gotten from Amazon like I have this coming. This is another example I've seen this on Instagram ads at shops way more expensive than 20 bucks. It's like 40 bucks. So I'm super curious for this to arrive and see what the quality looks like. And then the last two little websites these are just like a couple specific pieces. I found this company from an Instagram ad called Finn and Emma and it's all organic little baby clothes, but look at how precious this little baby footy is. Do we need to be charging $35? The little jungle animals, are you kidding me? And similar to other companies, like this is their whole jungle collection. If you want them to be cohesive matching, you can get pieces from a collection, mix and match them. And then last but not least, these Ford and Wyatt sweatshirts. There's ones that say Bubs. Um, I think these are so cute. I would love to get one that says Bubs and one that says to see that they can wear together. So those are the top places that I have been looking at baby clothes. So if you guys have any suggestions of cute little shops please let me know in the comments below my number one is definitely Zara and then I love a good sale like Old Navy and Baby Gap they have sales all the time you can get really good deals and again please check out Sunkiss Collective for their beautiful dainty jewelry and use code Heather10 for 10% off your order and we have less than a week to go till we get an update on these babies thank you so much for all of your DMs and comments and prayers seriously it's keeping me going so we're doing okay over here and and thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.